Michigan Avenue. This is all because of a crash investigation. We are starting to see some building traffic mainly making its way out of the city. We're watching for delays on the north end of the tri-state as well as into northwest Indiana. People there make their way to vacation spots for an extended weekend. Everything's still fine on both sides of the Edens right now. It's 19 minutes each way between Lake Book and the Kennedy Junction. In the inbound, it's 20 minutes from O'Hare into downtown, 10 from Montrose, 8 minutes in the inbound express lane. Outbound, no worries, 10 to Montrose, and a total of 20 from downtown to O'Hare. Inbound on the inbound side of the Eisenhower, it's looking pretty good, 29 from 390 to downtown, 16 from Mannheim, outbound, no backup, total 29 back out to the 390 tollway. Inbound on the Stevenson as well as northbound I-55 are clear. Inbound Stevenson takes you 30 minutes to get in from 355, 20 from the Tri-State up to Lakeshore Drive. Dan Ryan inbound, 95th and downtown at 15 minutes. Outbound is the same time out of the split. I-57 and the Bishop Ford doing just fine. Lakeshore Drive, light traffic volume in each direction. From Hollywood all the way down to 57, it's looking good both north and southbound. On the tollways, again, we're looking uh, at delays starting to build. We're leaving some volume on the north end of the Tri-State heading up towards the Wisconsin State Line. No delays right now on 90, 88, 355, or Route 390. Route 53 is clear, as is I-80 through Joliet. And in northwest Indiana, building traffic right now on eastbound 8094 in pockets from I-55 through Fort Ripley. I-94 uh, in the Indiana Toll Road and I-55 all will be fine. Get traffic and weather together on the 8th every 10 minutes on News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. WBBM Acumen are very warm and humid with clouds and sun for the rest of today with a thunderstorm around during the midday and afternoon hours into this evening. Our high 88 is mostly cloudy with that of 74. Very warm and sticky tomorrow with clouds and sun and a shower with thunderstorm mainly in the afternoon high 88. For Saturday, clouds with some sun with a shower with maybe a thunderstorm breezy cooler high here 80. Right now it's 76 degrees at Midway and at Brookfield, 75 at O'Hare, 76 for the front. I'm acting with a meteorologist, Joe Lundberg, on Chicago's weather station, News Radio 780 at 105.9 FM. WBBM News Time, 840. The backlash continues after Nike's decision to pull one of its sneakers. Senators Ted Cruz and Mitch McConnell have joined the campaign of conservative lawmakers and commentators criticizing Nike for shelving its sneaker with the Betsy Ross flag of 13 stars in a circle. The Wall Street Journal reported Nike recalled the sneaker after one of its endorsers, Colin Kaepernick, objected to what he sees as the flag's connection to slavery. Senator Cruz even went so far as to say that he was looking for, quote, a good sneaker that's not so woke. Nike defended its decision, saying it didn't want to unintentionally offend and detract from the 4th of July holiday. Bud Mishkin, CBS News. Well, Facebook says it's resolved an issue that caused a day-long outages across its Instagram, WhatsApp, and also its messenger platforms. It apologized for the outages, blamed them on an error triggered during a routine maintenance operation. An American rapper known for her outlandish provocative style is performing in a conservative nation of Saudi Arabia. Nicki Minaj to the Middle East. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, okay, hold up. Saudi Arabia says the rapper will perform in the ultra-conservative kingdom, though she is known for her provocative style and itty-bitty outfit. Saudi organizers say she's the headliner of the Jeddah World Fest later this month, as the country attempts to shed decades of restrictions on entertainment. Greatness is what we want to drink of. One Saudi woman on Twitter is calling out the hypocrisy since women who attend have to wear a full-length robe while also covering their hair and face with a veil. The concert will be broadcast globally and covered by MTV. That's my CBS News. WBBM News Time, age 42. Nothing celebrates the nation's independence like a group of people snarfing down dozens of hot dogs. It's the game time for Nathan's famous July 4th hot dog eating contest on New York's Coney Island Boardwalk. California native and 11-time champion, Jerry Chestnut, will face off against 17 opponents to defend last year's record of 74 dogs and fun in 10 minutes. And Nico Soto of Las Vegas hopes to win her sixth consecutive women's title. She ate 37 breaks last year. Fireworks soon expectedly went up in smoke in South Carolina. It was an early morning, early rockets, red glare. Round two. Firefighters had to dodge exploding rockets as they fought a spectacular blaze that destroyed storage containers filled with fireworks for sale on the 4th of July. No one was hurt in the incident, which happened near the Carowinds Amusement Park in Fort Mill, South Carolina, just south of Charlotte.